Hello, hi guys, it's Sinam Gafour here with the Apple iPhone 5S and we're going to be taking a look at how easy it is to pair up your Apple smartphone and your Sphero 2.0 gaming system. So first of all, if your Sphero isn't on, double tap it so it starts to glow various colours indicating that it's now in Bluetooth visible mode. And then what we'll do, head over in towards your settings, go into Bluetooth, turn Bluetooth on and it should start searching for devices and you can see it's picked up Sphero and mine's called Boo and it says not paired so I'll tap on it and it should start discovering Boo my Sphero 2.0 robotic ball a couple of seconds and there we go it says connected then what you need to do is head over in towards the app store and download an application called Sphero it's from the makers of Sphero so it's an official application completely free doesn't cost you nothing at all I've already downloaded it, there we go. And what we'll do, while that's loading up, I'll put the Sphero 2.0 on my desk here. More here, just takes you to the App Store where you can effectively download other applications, augmented reality games like golf. You got some zombie levels there as you can see and that kind of stuff. So we'll head over into Just Drive first of all. And it should. Sphero on the ground. Yep, so this is a tutorial system that's going through. It says Sphero on the ground. Well, kind of, it's on my desk, so I'll say okay to that. Sphero has a blue tail light. So it's saying Sphero has a blue tail light, which you can see whizzing around there. So we can see it, so we'll say okay. Press and hold the aim button. Then spin your finger until the blue light is pointing at you. There you go. So we've got to position the blue light towards us. So just keep on going around until, there we go, you can see the blue light is now aiming towards us. So we'll hit OK. Whoa. And it says Sphero moves away from the blue light. Yep, because the blue light is pointing towards us and it did if my monitor wasn't blocking it. So we'll hit OK. Use the aim button to adjust Sphero's heading at any time. So that's kind of uh, the tail light controller. Use the joystick to move Sphero around. I love that accent. Okay, so... Whoa. I should have turned the speed down to be fair. Uh, it's gonna do some damage on my desk. Use this slider to adjust Sphero's top speed. The tortoise is slower and the rabbit is faster. As I say, so we'll hit OK. I've turned the speed down, so let's see if that's made. Yeah, it's made. Ooh, it's a little bit easier to control there. On the carpet, if you're using it on, you need it on full hair or full speed because it's a little bit more rugged and harder to get speed on that than it is on laminate or desks. So if we go into the, the settings Access here. Access advanced settings and feature. Yep. And it pretty much gives you the Mac address, the software version and the firmware version that Sphero is running. You can put it to sleep from there and then you have to double tap it to wake it back up again. You can control the speed. But just to show you what this top button does, it shifts the joystick towards the right hand side if you're a righty. But I'm a lefty in this video so I'll go back and change that to the left hand side. Like so just so that's a little bit better to use. There we go. So what we can do from here, this is a cool thing as well. The next one up there where it looks like a, a phone with both arrows. Press this button to disable the joystick and enable tilt drive. So tilt drive it says there, so we'll hit okay. Oh, so effectively what it does, you control your Sephiro gaming system by the angle at which your smartphone is. You're not using the joystick Ooh, and it's a little bit harder to control like this but it works pretty well to be fair if you played any of the games on the app store that use tilt it's pretty good so what we'll do we'll turn that off because you can't actually see the screen from there we'll tap on this button here and what this allows us to do color and brightness here as he just said you can change the color and the brightness from here so essentially all you do move your finger around and sphere in the background you can see it's changing color so you got green you got more of a yellowy color more of a red camera may not be picking it up but you may see slight 
differences in the color. We'll leave them on blue for the time being. We'll go back. Towards the right hand side here, you can see like a speed boost section. A full boost meter by pressing the boost button while driving. There you go. And kind of gets him to go a little bit faster. And this button here. Quickly switch between any tricks you have unlocked in the core workshop. Press the button above to use the active trick. So he's talking about the game that we saw at the beginning on the right hand side where we chose to just drive on the left. But we'll take a look at that in just one moment. We'll hit OK there. And this trick that he does, I compare it to the Tasmanian Devil when he goes a little bit crazy. So watch this. And it makes a, a little bit of a, <laughs> a sound. So we'll, we'll put him back there because he may do some damage to the camera. We'll do it again. Kind of goes a little bit crazy and I do like that a lot. We'll go back and from the main menu system, you can see this is a game that it was talking about level up. So we'll tap on here and see what tutorials it gives us or so there's a little storyline here where the sphero escapes yeah i'm gonna skip past this if i can there we go so you get similar sort of controls that we're used to from the just drive section but it gives us missions so let's tap on one drive 10 meters in 20 seconds crashing into things as you go 10 meters smash into things Hopefully I won't break anything. Uh, my monitor's definitely taking a pounding. Way mission complete. But at what expense? My monitor has taken a pounding. There we go, those are the essential controls that you're gonna need while controlling your Sphero 2.0 gaming system via your Apple iPhone 5S. As ever, any comments or questions you guys have got, hit them up in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and like what you saw, and if you haven't already done so, hit subscribe. It's also down there as well. It doesn't cost you a penny, and you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching, have a wicked day, and we'll see you next time.